Hey everybody, it's Matt from the Merkins. We got Richie behind the camera. Nate's at the studio. We're doing a special thank you video for David all the way over in France at Redneck Slasher Studios who we partnered with and he sent us these two beautiful Leatherface 1974 screen accurate masks for our Friends With No Faces video, which I'm sure you've seen. If you haven't, I suggest you check it out. But we're gonna get a closer look at them, so here we go. I'm supposed to be a mute, but that ain't the truth. Love wearing my blue tie and hair. Just to let you know you're not the last one to go. I was the last one to want you guys for air. So those are some clips from our Leatherface Friends With No Faces video, which this mask was featured in. It's the 1974 Killing Mask, and I'm going to explain to you why it's better than any other Leatherface mask on the market. So, if we take a closer look, David obviously took the time to hand stitch the latex mask all the way through. I mean, most of the ones that you see nowadays are just painted on there, because we have a CFX one that's just painted when it comes to the stitching. Uh, he took the time to put the eyelashes and the eyebrows on there. It's got the hole punch through the neck, which ties securely through with the leather laces. And most of them don't have this, it's the metal bar piece, which is in the mouth. He's got the metal wiring punched through the lip. He's got the metal wiring, which is holding the hole in his head together. And he also, when you buy this mask, it comes with the wig attached to it. As I stated previously, it is a latex mask. It's thicker, which means it's gonna be durable. We had it on Paul's head for 12 hours with no problem, slides on and off. I mean, it, it's, it's built to last. David, you definitely know what you're doing. So now watch a few clips as I grab the Pretty Woman mask. And I'll be right back. Those were a few clips from our Friends With No Faces Leatherface video. This is the Pretty Woman Mask. You gotta love those drumming parts. They crack me up every single time. Now moving on to this mask, this is hands down my favorite one. Uh, it's also made out of latex. I don't need to explain it too in depth. David didn't cut any corners, just on like on the last mask. He went out all out on this one. Uh, it's got the, the wobbly neck, which is just like in the movie. He has, it comes applied with the blush, the lipstick, the eyeliner. Like on the killing mask, this one also has the eyelashes glued on, the eyebrows glued on, the real. It's got stitching in the on the forehead. It's got stitching all the way around the top of the forehead, hand stitched, uh, just like the other one. It comes with the wig attached when you purchase it, and it's it's my favorite mask, hands down. Now take a look at David's clip. Right, guys that about wraps it up thanks for sticking with me I'm sorry for stumbling around we don't usually film videos like this I'm not very good at talking on camera in front of everybody but we just definitely wanted to give a shout out to David for making these masks for us I mean we couldn't ask for more they came in clutch when we needed them and the video turned out great um, so if you guys could please follow him in the link in description down below definitely go check his stuff out we'd appreciate it and um, Thanks for watching. Oh yeah, and we also got some upcoming stuff. You just gotta stay tuned. We're working on stuff right now. We got, you know, it takes a lot of time. We're in the studio, we're writing songs. There's a lot of stuff going on. So stick with us, keep following us, and we appreciate everyone. See ya.